Hi parents! It's Miss Savannah here from Head Start and I just wanted to go through with you some of the ways to enter in kind. There's multiple ways to do it and it can be a little bit confusing so I just wanted to walk you through your options. So firstly we're gonna click on the Learning Genie Parent app. You can see it has a little genie ghost looking guy on there and it says parent. I also have the educator that's how I create assignments and stuff so you won't have that on your device. If you don't have this app please re-download it um, because that's how we're going to enter homework and it's going to be important that you use this app throughout the year. So I'm going to click into it. The first way we can enter in kind is I post things throughout the week, books and videos. You can click on the video, watch it. They're usually about, you know, three, four minutes and it will have you sign at the end. It'll pop up and ask for your signature and that directly counts as 15 minutes of in kind. So that's a great way to supplement your in kind. Another way is there's two ways to get to the in-kind. You can click down in this little circle or you can click up here and you can see there's red dots on both because I have in-kind assignments that need to be completed. And uh, here's that red dot again, in-kind report. And here is an assignment I can create. So if you want to do the assignment, you can click right here on this box where it says zero out of four. That means I haven't completed any of the four things that I have been assigned. I'm gonna click in. Oh, it looks like the teacher wants me to pretend play this week. So here are some ideas. Um, puppets, pretend phone call, play school or store, have a tea party. So I can practice pretend play at home. I can click on one of these. Hmm, I played school with my child. I can enter my time. I played for 45 minutes. I'm going to select done, submit, and sign. and wait for it to load. <laughs> and it will show you the activities you do actually help donate money to our program. So it's really cool and it's really important. Um, that's why I'm really on parents about in-kind because it helps us fund our program. Now, see, now it shows one out of four is completed. And these I assign every week. It might be something similar to what we're working on in the classroom um, or something specifically I want you to focus on, but you can always enter any other learning activity you're doing at home. If you're playing outside, that's helping their physical development. If you're learning letters or numbers or you're writing or you're counting, here's where we can add all of that. We can click this little plus at the bottom here and it brings up a list of a whole bunch of things that you can look through. Um, another tricky thing, there are different categories. So this is approaches to learning, cognition. You might have to click into other ones for different options. Otherwise, um, if you don't click into this box here, you're just gonna see the approaches to learning ones. If you can't find what you did on this list, or if you wanna add something else, you can also customize. It's right up here at the top, and you can type in anything you did. So say, um, I think this is on there, but I'm gonna just gonna put ride bike. If you and your child rode your bike, that helps your physical development. I'm gonna do this little check marks that I'm done typing. I'm gonna put my time, I did that for an hour, 60 minutes. Again, I'm gonna push done, submit, and sign. So you can see there are several different ways to enter in kind and all of them are great. I have no preference on how whatever works for you to enter in kind as long as we're working towards our four hour a week goal. Let me know if you have any other questions. Good luck on your in-kind. See you guys later.